100 years ago, Tennessee became the 36th state to ratify the 19th Amendment, making women's right to vote legal in the entire country. Well, Laura Faber takes us to a special exhibit at the Tennessee State Museum where we discover the decision came down to a letter from a state lawmaker's mother. For centuries, Tennessee women have fought for change in their communities and expressed their political views, inspiring stories of famous women and everyday women too. One of the best stories of all is being told in the Tennessee State Museum. The story of Tennessee's role in women securing the right to vote. Well, exhibits tend to be based around great stories. And this one, you just don't get a much better story. The exhibit is called Ratified, Tennessee Women and the Right to Vote. Miranda Fraley Rhodes, assistant chief curator for the Tennessee State Museum, says her team wanted the exhibit to coincide with the centennial celebration of the historic ratification of the 19th Amendment. It gave women the right to vote, sit on juries, and run for office across the country. Using historic suffrage clips, as well as clips from WNPT's documentary called Buy One Vote, the museum displays artifacts that explore the women's suffrage movement, the experience of African-American women, the organization of the anti-suffrage movement, and even the role of fashion. Darius Smith, graphic designer of exhibitions for the museum, says a great deal of thought was put into how the exhibit was designed. Everything from the flow of how you move through its 8,000 square feet to the modern font on the graphics and text. I think two key words that we wanted to use was presence and modernity. We really wanted this to be relatable to now. We didn't want it to feel like it was outdated because there's still a lot of women rights activities that are going on to this day, voting rights that are going on to this day. So we really wanted to stay relevant. We wanted to inspire people to go out and vote because this is what a lot of women fought for. And it was also about presence and making the women big, making them feel like they were here with us, encouraging us to go out and do what we wanted to do, which was vote. <laughs> so is that why the photos are so big? Yes, that's why they're larger than life. We really wanted them to come alive with color. And a lot of these old images are black and white, so we wanted to use pops of color to make sure that people were attracted to going to see them. And we have lots of cut out portraits just to make sure that they are the focal point of what you see. You will see many things from the museum's permanent collection, like suffrage banners and costumes from that time. What is clear, how important women saw the right to vote a century ago. The realities of women's lives a hundred years ago, there were some significant differences. In the late 1800s, when the, the suffrage movement started really getting going in the state, not only could women not vote, married women did not have rights to their own property. They did not have an equal share in their children. Professions were close to women. Women really faced a lot of legal disabilities. And though this was a time of racial segregation, Tennessee had some instances of interracial cooperation within suffrages. The exhibit reveals how women hoped voting rights would be a tool to improve their life. Some might be surprised to know that Tennessee was the deciding factor into whether the amendment would be passed. 100 years ago, there was so much legal drama and maneuvering and it was unclear whether lawmakers could even vote on it. The U.S. Supreme Court got involved and the governor called a special session. 35 states had already ratified the 19th Amendment. Just one more state was needed for it to become law. Tennessee became the final battleground. The conflict was heated. The Tennessee House of Representatives deeply divided and the crucial vote came down to Harry Byrne from McMinn County. He changed his vote after reading a letter from his mother encouraging him to vote yes 
and she wrote, don't forget to be a good boy. Byrne voted for ratification. You know, of course, the 19th Amendment gave some women the right to vote, not all women. That took a little bit longer. And the exhibit clearly does not shy away from that. Yes, we thought that was really important. It's like the 19th Amendment is such a great step towards political rights for women, but it was uh, just a beginning rather than an ultimate solution. It did not provide voting rights for Asian American women or Native American women, and African American women faced many barriers to voting. Things like poll taxes, and in general discrimination and racial violence. It was a movement told by not one singular suffrage story, but several. My favorite image of all time is the image of Willie Cooper. She is a substitute teacher, and she's an African-American woman, and she's dressed in this really cool dress with a fancy, fancy hat, and it's, for me, as an African-American woman, it's really cool to see women represented not in slavery or as maids or sharecroppers or something. That she's in a position of some, some power. It might not be a lot, but it is a lot for her time. And she's super fancy and super dressed up. And you, we have a lot of images like that throughout the exhibit. And it's really inspiring as a minority. One of my favorite things is a sampler. And this is a piece of needlework and it's in our first area of the exhibit. And that area really talks about how women were acting politically in Tennessee even before they had the right to vote. And the young woman who made this sampler, she has a, a political verse in there about a campaign between a Democratic candidate and a Whig candidate. And, um, you know, this is long before women had the right to vote, but it was very clear that she was paying attention to what was going on and um, that women really were engaged in public life. Curators of this exhibit hope it inspires people to vote and pay attention to our country. They hope it proves history is fun. And because this state played such an important role in giving women the federal voting right, it's something Tennesseans today can be proud of.